How to get 6 plus RX 500 series GPUs working in Windows 10. Here I am in Windows 10 and you can see I've got drivers 17.5.1 and 16.11.5, 16.11.4, 16.10.3. .10 this should work with any mix of the 16.9.2 to 16.11.5 drivers plus any of the 17.4.3 to 17.5.1 as of now is the newest driver. You can mix these drivers together in order to get six RX 500 series GPUs working together, six RX 570s or six RX 580s. What you need to do is you need to extract both one of the 17.4.3 to 17.5.1 or probably newer drivers and one of the older 16.9.2 to 16.11.5 drivers. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll double click on 17.5.1 and extract it. I'm not actually going to install it though. Once it's done extracting, I'll close the installer because I don't want to install it. And then I'll go ahead and I'm going to extract 16.11.5. So I'll double click on that and then click on install. And again, once that's extracted, just close the installer. Don't actually install it. Now go to your C drive or wherever your Windows installation is into the AMD folder. And then into the 16.11.5 folder, into Packages, Drivers, Display, and the INF folder. And then in this case into B309089 and copy all of the files. Then backtrack out of there and go into 17.5.1. Follow the same path, Packages, Drivers, Display. INF and then the B313823 folder and paste all of those files into this folder. Replace all of the files. Now in Display Manager, right click on one of the graphics cards that needs a driver and click on Update Driver Software. Choose Browse My Computer and then actually browse to the folder that you want to install. So go to AMD, go to 17.5.1 folder into packages, drivers, display, and then the INF folder and just stay there. Choose this folder, click OK, and then click Next, and it will install the driver. When you get to the Windows security warning screen that says Windows can't verify the publisher of this driver software, just click on install this driver software anyway. That's it, it's installed. So you can now restart your computer. Once you get back into Windows, you can see that it does recognize all of the GPUs. If I had 6580s in here, it would recognize 6580s. If it was 570s, 570s. It should recognize 7 or 8. You can see Claymore recognizes them all and does start mining on them all. I don't mind my speeds here because the screen recorder really messes around with the speeds with the hash rates and claymores. So that's all you have to do. That's how you can get your drivers to work. You don't have to patch them or anything. It's very straightforward, very simple. This technique came from somebody on the Bitcoin Talk forum thread, so I will link to that in the description. And I'd also like to give a shout out to Big Dad. I'll put his channel link in the description if you want to check out his channel. So I hope you liked the video, I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.